Hello everybody, this is Crystal from What Was Mommy Thinking. Welcome if you are a new subscriber and member of our little budget community. And welcome back if you are already a friend. I'm so glad that everybody is here. We're going to do a video that I didn't think I was going to get to do this month. And that is closing out my sinking funds for the month of January and updating my tracker that I keep in my budget planner. And the reason I didn't is because we didn't think we were going to be stuffing any sinking funds for the entire month so I would just be carrying numbers forward but if you watched one of my latest videos where I got to stuff some sinking funds with money we had at the end of the month then you know why we're here so let's get through the intro I'll catch you right back here and we'll get started So let's see if we can get this updated. I'm kind of excited for a couple of reasons. Number one, I didn't think we were going to get to stuff anything in January. There were a bunch of sinking funds we didn't get to do in December. And then we didn't do any in January till the very end of the month, as you guys saw in one of my latest videos. And I have a new sinking fund tracking sheet in my budget binder that I set up at the end of the year last year to start this year. And it's completely blank. So let's get at that thing okay so it is in my budget planner back here um i set up my sinking funds if you guys missed the video where i showed um what i how what budget sheets i'm going to be using and how i'm going to be using them i will try and remember to link it here I'm just going to zoom you guys in a little bit. So this is the Sinking Funds Tracker. I decided to do mine for the whole year in sort of this boho theme because it fits more of the style that I'll use. I mean, I love the little themed months, but for something that I'm going to use consistently every month throughout the whole year, I wanted to have... Um, this very neutral and pretty theme. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got my months of the year down the left hand column. I've got my titles across the top. There are a couple that are still missing because I just haven't made the time to make the stickers. But that being said, let's get right in it and see where we're at. So allowance, this is one that used to be a cash envelope. Then I moved it to a sinking fund. And now that it's a sinking fund, I'm kind of wondering why. Because it's never going to carry over a balance. The kids get their allowance. So it's kind of going to be at a zero balance, you know. So I'm not going to close allowance out, if that makes sense. And the reason being because it's, it's something we take from every week. And it should be a zero balance at the end of every month. So I'm not even going to worry about that one, even though it is in there, I'm going to start with Amazon. So what we're going to do is um, take Amazon, take a peek and write it in. So it says we should have 10. We've got 10. So I'm just going to write $10 as the ending balance. Now. I, it shows here that in the month of January, I took out 120, but I added 10. So that would be a net loss of $110. So I can put up here that I used $110 out of this fund. And uh, to me, the tomato, you know, they raised the price as I, I mentioned before. So then we're going to look at our back to school fund. So coming into January, we had 250, we added 50, which gives us 300. So we're gonna put here that we added $50 and that our balance is $300. So we've got one, two, 250, and three. For birthdays, I think we started January with 200, maybe three. Let's see. 
We started January with $200. We added $100. So we can put that we added $100 plus $100. And that we're ending the month with $300. So there's our $300 for that. For Christmas, I absolutely know we started the month with a big fat goose egg. Then we added $350. So we can put that we added, I was supposed to start circling that and quit writing the plus and minus sign, but we'll see if I ever get the hang of that. $350. Well, that was easy. I'm gonna move this aside for just a second and we're gonna pull this sheet and flip it over. Oh wait, what did I do? Carly's. I put that, oh, I put that on the wrong space. Well, now we get to erase, and that's okay too because these pens are awesome. Okay, so over here on this side, we'll do plus $350, and that gives us a balance of $350. Okie doke, back on track. Let's look at clothing. For clothing, we started the month with zero, we added 50, so we're going to circle plus 50, and that gives us a balance of $50. How are y'all sinking funds going this year so far? Are you off to a rockin' start, or are you slowly easing into 2022? For cosmetics, we have nothing, so we're going to say that we didn't add anything and we're not ending with anything. For Easter, we started the month with 140. We added 20 to give us 160, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60. So we added 20 and we're at $160. Perfect. Um, I thought I was going to be all like gangbusters into 22, but the best laid plans, y'all. The best laid plans. Okay, we started January with nothing. We added $75. And we're ending with $75 in family pictures. I didn't think I would be as excited about that category as I was, but I'm telling you guys, our experience was just incredible. For Father's Day... I believe we started the month with 250, which we did. We added 50, which gives us a total of $300. So we're gonna add our 50, and then we've got $300. And I think I told you guys in the video I did stuffing these envelopes that our goal was 600, and we cut it in half for this year, just to try and um, allocate more money towards other things. So I've got 650s here for my $300. And I will not be funding this um, envelope again until July. So for 4th of July, we started with $85. We added 15 for a total of 100. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna add our 15, and that gives us a total of $100. Oh my, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. All right, then for Halloween, I know we stuffed that, and most of these envelopes that we did stuff in January, we didn't get to fully fund them, but something was better than nothing, and we were so, so grateful. We started with 25, we added 25 for a total of 50. It all adds up, you guys, I promise. Just start somewhere, right? 20, 40, 45, and 50. Okay, for home maintenance, I think that we have, we started with 40 and we only have 40. So we didn't add anything, but we have $40. Okay. Then for home projects, oh, I did HOA, dang it all. Okay, so let me move this over and make it a zero 
$140. And then my HOA, this is in our savings account. Same as the Carly's payoff and pest control. So let's see, strike two, I've written in both of them. Let's see if I don't catch myself again for pest. So for home projects, we have absolutely nothing in there. Let me flip this sheet so that we can see that. Home projects, we did nothing and we have nothing. <laughs> so for medical, it looks like we did spend, we started with $91, we spent $38 and did not add anything in it. So we negative $38 and we ended with $53. For Mother's Day, I can tell you guys we did not fund it because it's fully funded at $300. And we won't be stuffing this one again until June. Personal care, we did not put anything in. Pest, hmm, Pest is that uh, one that stays in our HOA. Our sports envelope for January, we started with nothing, we added $50. And that gives us a balance of $50. Awesome. We're almost in the home stretch here. I think we've got one, maybe two more, one page, maybe? I don't know, what do I know? So $50 in baseball. Then we go to St. Patrick's Day. We started January with $80, added 10, and now we have 90. So we're gonna add our $10 and a balance of $90. We will use this next month to buy some yummy, yummy corned beef and cabbage for everyone in our family. For Thanksgiving, we started the month with $0. We added 20, and that gives us a balance of $20. Bum, bum, bum. And then for a vacation, I know we started with a balance of zero and added $300. We're trying to build this fund back up and we have a balance of $300. And for some reason, I don't know what I did with my Valentine's Day, but it's on the next page. We'll come back to it. So let's look at vehicle maintenance. Vehicle maintenance is completely empty. So we're gonna say nothing and nothing. And then vehicle tags, we had to buy tags, so I know this one is flat busted broke. We took $150 out of that to buy tags and get vehicle inspections. So we'll do minus 150 and we have nothing in there. And that's it. I don't know what happened to Valentine's Day. Well, I made a boo-boo there then, I guess. So, I don't have any of my savings challenges funded except for my No Eat Out Challenge, which is over here somewhere. Yep, it's right there. So, for my No Eat Out Challenge in the month of January, we started with, we started with nothing, and we added $115 and we have a balance of $115. So I do know that one. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with Valentine's Day, you guys. That makes me kinda, okay, it makes me kinda bummed. So I will figure that out. Um, I just missed it and I, oh my goodness, I hope I don't have to go back and re-sticker a bunch of pages. If I do, I do. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Um, how, I have nothing to complain about if I have an additional sinking fund that I didn't track on this ledger. I mean, like, of all the things in the world to complain about, are we going to complain about an envelope with cash in it? No, I don't think so. So, I make mistakes all day, every day, you guys. This is nothing new. <laughs> uh, it's part of who I am, and you love all of it, right? Or I have to love all of it. Maybe I'll stick it right up here and replace the allowance sticker with it. So that is it for closing out our sinking funds for the month of January. For the month of February, um, I am really hoping that when we close out that we've got some, uh, something 
in every one of these savings challenges to write in. So that is where we're at. We're gonna go ahead and close up our sinking funds for the month of January. And it's just that simple. I hope you guys are on top of and on, on track of everything that you feel like you need to and that you're feeling a little bit more put together than I am right now. But all in all, so much to be grateful for, so much to um, acknowledge and feel blessed from, and I hope that you guys are feeling the same. Until next time, everybody, please take care of yourselves, be well, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.